started screen printing t-shirts in my apartment in the early 70s to pick up pocket change and eventually met a man who ran a garment company and did a few designs for him and we kind of made a deal together uh, about me going into silk screen business to do his stuff which he was having done in Chattanooga at the time so he guaranteed me his business and so I went into silk screen business in the early 70s and have been with it ever since. We do about 3,000 dozen pieces a week. We get the art in various ways, either from designers in New York or from the companies. Uh, occasionally, they, we do the artwork here. Uh, this particular design is a, a Snoopy runner or Snoopy soccer. First thing we do, we take the artwork and separate it into the colors. This is a three color design. This will represent the black. This represents the colors and the stripes. And this will be Snoopy's shirt. After this is prepared, it's photographed on a camera and enlarged or reduced according to the size they want or the size garment. What we come up with is a transparency like this for each color that we're going to use on the design. It's the black. In this case, the red and his shirt. Uh, after this, fabric is stretched in a wooden frame, uh, toned and coated with uh, an emulsion. This is light sensitive and it acts just like a piece of film. It's kept in the dark until we're ready to use it. Uh, what's done here is this film is contact printed onto this screen. Uh, with a high intensity lamp. What happens is the light affects this area of the screen out from under the black and hardens it. The area underneath the black remains soft and is just washed out with water. So in other words, we get these lines that were under the black. Uh, then this screen is put on a machine or on a hand printer. The ink is put into the screen and just pulled across it with a squeegee, which is a board with a piece of rubber in it, basically. the garments are printed, they're laid on the conveyor and come through the dryer. This is an infrared dryer that uh, not only dries the ink where the garment can be handled, but sets the dye in the fabric where it'll stand up to washing. Uh, when the bundles come through, they're tied up and boxed, sent back to the factory, and the pieces are sewn into garments which will go on to the, the customers that the company has sold them to. This little piece is just the insert that goes in a little uh, child's jersey, which the finished garment will look like this. This is the only piece we're printing. This red, red front, a little nylon material, will be sewn in to a garment like this. Uh, we also do the sleeves. Sleeves are printed flat before they're sewn. Just a nylon mesh that goes into a jersey. And here again is another sleeve, long sleeve this time, with two stripes on it that'll be, go to the factory. Sewn together to a long sleeve shirt. Okay, all the designs we do, the screens are kept for a certain length of time uh, because we do have repeats on the orders. Uh, these are all four color designs. There's four screens to each design. Uh, this is the Superman, various designs on the Superman. 
We usually keep these for a period of about a year uh, for reorders, and some of them have been here longer. We use over and over again. Life of a screen can vary from a few weeks to a few months. Everything you see around us is silk screen printed from the dashboard of your car to billboards are all screen printed. And uh, so it's a very, it's, it's a lot of fun. I think uh, it's worth getting into.